Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. This is weird not starting the camera the other way around. I mean, I don't really know why it's not the other way around. I don't really know what I'm doing, to be honest. But one thing I do know is that I'm out of breath and I've literally walked up the stairs. So that's not ideal, is it? Hold on, let me just go and sit. Let's see if I could sit down here, actually. How are we all doing, guys? This is such a random intro to the vlog. I, I literally hadn't even planned to vlog this evening. I mean, it's the evening right now. It's like 10 o'clock at night. I am so premenstrual. It's a joke. I am literally, I was meant to come on my period like four days ago. I'm so late. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I did take a pregnancy test today because I was like, uh, I, like, I'm never late on my period. Like, I am literally never late on my period. The pregnancy test was negative, obviously, um, because I probably wouldn't be sat here, like, right now just having this conversation with you if, if it was positive. I'm just really feeling the PMS right now. I'm definitely going to come on my period tonight and I'm feeling just very hot, very needy, and my boyfriend's not here. Um, it's, it's really sad. He's actually gone to Dubai. He literally booked a trip to Dubai the night before he was going and today he left me to go to Dubai like I'm literally so sad and um, he's so spontaneous and I would have gone with him but this is like the week before the biggest job thing of my life the catwalk show with PLT next week which is probably one of the biggest things I've ever done in my career so going on a holiday a week before even though I could have done it um as a career move well not the smartest thing to do so I held off on going with Tommy as much as I'd love to have gone with him um so I'm here on my period week by myself. There's probably gonna be some emotions, there's gonna be some junk food eating, which I thought we could just share. I mean, I've actually noticed, noticed a lot of comments from you guys recently being like, why does she make such a big deal out of when she eats bad food? Like, this isn't, this is, you know, I, I, I was really shocked at that because I really didn't think that I did make a big thing out of when I eat junk food because I'm sorry, but I literally eat junk food all the time. And it's really not a big deal because who wants to eat healthy food all the time? Definitely not me. It's quarter to ten right now at night. It's a Monday night, so really a Monday is when you're meant to be like most productive and positive and amazing, whatever. But but as a girl, you can't help when your period emotions fall. So um, I'm actually gonna go to McDonald's right now. I'm really just I've not had any tea and I'm just I went on delivery and I was gonna order something, but nothing was really grabbing my fancy and I tried to get McDonald's delivered, but they don't deliver it here. So thought I'd just nip out drive, get a little, like get a little Mackey's, just some six chicken nugs, um, maybe a little Coke Zero, or with ice, yes. Let's just spend the next few days together and just be a bit PMS, be a little bit emotional, just share those feelings together, because I'm sure there's a girl probably watching this right now that's very PMS. What does PMS even mean? I keep, I've just scratched my whole face off. I've literally just scratched my whole face off. Um, what does PMS even mean? Post, post menstrual symptoms. Pre, pre, pre menstrual symptoms. Hang on, let me just check that because I keep saying the word PMS. So I actually have no idea what it means. Pre menstrual syndrome. Pre menstrual syndrome is the name before is the name for symptoms women can experience the weeks before their period. Symptoms of pre menstrual syndrome include mood swings, yes, tiredness, yes, tummy pain. Oh my gosh, literally headaches. Hi, can I take your order, please? Hi, can I please get a chicken Big Mac? As a meal or on its own? Um, just on its own, please. Yeah, anything else? Yeah, um, a cheeseburger. Yeah. Plain, just with like the burger and the cheese, no pickles or anything. Yeah, anything else? Um, and can I get a Coke, a large Coke Zero with ice, please? Sadly, we've run out of Coke Zero, I'm afraid. Can I get a normal Coke, please? Yeah, yeah, anything else? Um, no, that's everything, thank you. Next window then, please. Thank you. Okay, I mean, they had no Coke Zero. We're not gonna cry about it. We're not gonna cry about it. Hold up, hold up everyone. Panicking, panicking, because I don't like doing this without Tommy. Tommy, where are you when I need you? Oh, my allies are gonna get screwed. Not like they're already not screwed. Why do they make drive throughs so tight? It really, really is not the one. It's not the one. Did I bring my debit card? Did I even bring my debit card? Who knows at this point? I've actually forgotten my money, but I've got up this. This might work. It might not. Do I try again? S swear. swear. You're joking. Do you think you can like hold my order because I will actually come back? What time do you shut? Oh, okay, perfect. I'll come back. Thank you. <laughs> I feel like I'm going to start 
start crying about this situation. I am going to start sobbing. I left my money at home. I left my money at home. <laughs> I'm so embarrassed. I'm actually so embarrassed. That was so embarrassing. The poor boy. The poor boy was just staring at me like, what do you want me to do about it, hun? Like, I'm not giving you a free McDonald's. Oh, dear Jesus, that was embarrassing. Okay, okay. I just got a new card and I've just added it to my, um, my phone, but it, it, it didn't work. It didn't work, so to be fair, some places don't accept this type of card, so it... <gasps> now it's like, is this God telling me that like, maybe I don't need a McDonald's tonight? I don't, I don't know. Oh, am I going to go home, get my debit card, then come back, even though it's like a good 20 minute drive? To be honest, there and back, it's probably about a half an hour drive. Oh my dear, dear Jesus, I need help, I need help. I was on the phone to Fran and she had a bit of a miraculous idea. She was like, do you not have any coins in your car instead of going all the way back home? And I actually do have coins. Now, I don't think it's going to be enough for my order that I originally wanted, but there's definitely something here, okay? We have one, this was my parking money, but listen, needs mass, right? One, two, right, one, three. Okay, I think that's all the pound coins we've got. I'm not going to lie, I only think we've got three pound coins. Hang on, 50. Right, gang, I have five pound 20. And instead of driving home, I'm just going to use my five pound 20 to see what I can get. I'm not going to be able to get the full banquet that I had envisioned, but we'll get something and it, it will be lovely. It'll be, it'll be lovely. I genuinely cannot believe that just happened. I'm actually so mortified. Now, has that made top three most embarrassing experiences of my whole life? I, I think so, yeah. I think I, think I would probably say that has made top three most embarrassing experiences that was so mortifying the guy literally looked at me as if to say like you ain't getting this mcdonald's time like i'm not giving you this mcdonald's if you don't have the right change um but i managed to pull my brown coins out of my car my two piece one piece and we've got chippies which i was eating on the journey and the chicken big mac a little bit crushed i also forgot to ask for it without mayo and without um pick pickles um is that what they're called pickles the green things gherkins not pickles um but listen we're not going to be fussy because i'm just so glad that i managed to actually get it in the end because that was so embarrassing verdicts on the chicken big mac i fun fact you're not actually gonna believe me because whenever i say this to anyone they're like no nah, that's a lie but oh no i need to take these gherkins out not for me then um well, no, I've actually never had a normal Big Mac before. I've had like cheeseburgers, but that's basically Big Mac, isn't it? It's just like two cheeseburgers stacked on top of each other. Like I've never actually had a Big Mac, like with the bread in, in between. So this is a first, not only for a chicken Big Mac, but for a Big Mac in general, um, which is exciting. So a little bit of ketchup, that's how it looks. Not an ad, wish it was. Let's go for it. Oh <laughs> that is unbelievable that's actually unbelievable and i just even bit a bit of gherkin then and i didn't even taste it because i was so distracted by how good it is that is so good what the hell are you taking on the bite wow wow okay that is my new order i think they're actually not Am I right in thinking that it's not staying forever? It's like a limited edition. I'm not a McDonald's menu connoisseur. But rumour has it that it's limited edition. Maybe I just saw it on the side. Mm. You got me exclusive. I'm so high up and lucid. You take me to a safe place. We set the on the same place. Yeah, I'm crazy. You like that. Don't back down. Keep it spicy, there's a fat fat we Off the table! Get down! Down! Get down, babies! Come here then! If you want to be on the worktop, you've got to give me something, because you can't just come on the worktop and then not be in the video. Come here! Mama! Mama! Why are you not cooperating with me? Come 
come see your mum. Freddy? Fred? Freddy? Okay, maybe not today. Give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. Give me a kiss, babe. Hey guys, how are you all doing? So I'm up, I'm ready for the day. I'm in Erin's car at the moment. We've just come into town. Um, obviously last night we had a little bit of a stressful situation with the McDonald's, but we've moved on from that now. And um, I'm still not over the chicken big, big Mac, by the way. Um, I was messaging everyone last night, like you all need to go and get this chicken Big Mac because it was so unreal. But yeah, today, um, I actually don't have loads to do today. I just need to shoot a little bit of content and then I do have a couple of errands to run in town. I wanna go to the shops. I feel like I have not been shopping in ages like just to go to the shops and see what's in there like in Zara and like the makeup shops and stuff in Selfridges so I'm gonna have a little wander around and see if there's anything I want to pick up. I've popped my hair into a French plait today and I've got tape method in at the moment and this has been the only moment with tape method that I've been like a bit frustrated because it's so hard to put your hair into a French plait when you have tapes like that's just the one style that it does not cooperate with apart from that I have been loving the tapes to be fair but bonds are definitely easy to do a French braid it's really not my best um my best French braid I've ever done I just nipped into this really cool new shop in Manchester near Rosso called Overframe and um it has like cool like pre-loved designer pieces in there some like cool Japanese designers and stuff and I wanted to take a selfie in the mirror basically because I've seen a few girls <laughs> taking pictures there so um, I didn't know if we were allowed or not so Erin was on 101 distraction for the shop assistants just chatting to them all asking them about the shop and to be fair I did actually buy something which I'll show you guys when I get home um, just a little leather jacket which was really nice actually <laughs> um, and I didn't have any intentions of buying anything when I went in there so yeah um, content's got now and um, I think we're going to head home now and um, crack on with a few things back home but we had prep for lunch which was nice I had macaroni cheese <laughs> but we get back on things tomorrow the healthy eating starts again tomorrow um, because the prep mac and cheese I don't if you had the prep mac and cheese the kale and cauliflower one it is honestly too good the salad just wasn't it wasn't calling for me today so guys the period came it's the next day by the way sorry it's been really another disjointed vlog oh I literally feel like just so rubbish today in the fact that I just know like my operation hasn't worked and it's just so sad because when I come on my period which well, I'm gonna explain this properly in my endometriosis video but when I come on my period like that is the day for me that it's not any other day really that I suffer too badly it's just the day I come on um, the pain is unbearable don't get me wrong the pain is better than it used to be since I had the operation I don't want to give too much information in this video because it's not what this video is about but um, yeah I just it's another one of the days where I have to somehow make it through the day whilst being in so much pain and like be in meetings and stuff and not show that I'm literally in pain to the point where I just want to curl up in a ball and just cry like that's why I just messaged Tommy this morning saying like I literally just want to curl up in a ball and just cry all day that's what how bad the pain is I can't even be begin to explain I'm heading into town now for a meeting at PLT for fashion week which is really exciting um and it's a shame because I've been looking forward to this meeting all week and now like it's just I said to Farron just now, I was like, I feel like I just want to like get this meeting done so I can get back home. But I've been literally looking forward to this meeting all week. And it's just so frustrating that like something that us girls have to see ya. something us girls have to go through without any choice, like can make you feel just so rubbish. And like guys will never understand. Guys will literally never understand. Like no matter how many times I explain it to Tommy, he just won't ever get what it feels like. I just picked up a load of Krispy Kreme donuts from Tesco to take into the guys and I've had a protein shake for breakfast. Um, these guys from this AV company were around this morning for a while like sorting out the Wi-Fi, which means I should be able to upload videos from home now, which is amazing and not have to go to the gym, um, which would be absolutely insane. So when I get home, I'm gonna test that out. I did pick myself up a Krispy Kreme um, because I didn't want to like go into the box and ruin the box. Obviously, obviously I had to get a Biscoff one. I'm only going to have a couple of bites because um, I know this is really naughty, but... If you can't do it on your period, when can you, you know? When can you? Slightly inappropriate, but very stunning at the same time. 
<laughs> if I show more of that angle, no, I mean, it just looks inappropriate altogether, doesn't it? Mm. Oh my god. This is absolutely insane. If you think that there's any better Krispy Kreme flavour than the Biscoff ones, you're wrong. You're wrong. Harry Potter fans, what film is this from? Harry's heart did beat for us. For all of us. And it's not over. <laughs> No, too much of a Harry Potter nerd, it's not even true. I need to see someone about it. We've got this, we've got this. High five, we can get through today. Um, pray for me guys, I, I know I know I'm gonna be fine. Um, done it a million times, I can do it again. That lighting, <sighs> that lighting is not it. Let me, that's one thing. One thing about this house that I would change is the lighting. It's not really for me, oh you get a little back shot there. Little back shot. I'm proud of me guys, I made it through the day. To be fair, Feminax worked a treat today. It never, ever, ever in the past has worked using Feminax. It's the only thing I had, it's the only painkiller I had in the in the drawer. So I just took two of those um, on a whim, hoping that they would work and they did subside the pain a little bit. Oh my big boy, you wanna say hi? No, no, okay. What about you, do you wanna say hi to my vlog? This. He's really, he doesn't like cuddles. Bread, ready, ready, no, okay, not a problem. Scratched me wrist off, scratched your mum's wrist off. Now what did I tell you about doing that? I'm gonna make a deal with you guys, okay? I'm gonna make a deal with you that at some point I will do a video about the cats. I just can't do it at the moment. And in the video, I will explain why and I will tell you everything I can. There we go, all ready for bed. I've been having a bit of a low evening about um, my diet at the minute and it's really tricky because I know at the start of this video I said you guys always go on about how I make a big thing out of when I eat bad food. I don't, I've never really realised that I did that and I don't think I do that and then I think through this vlog I've maybe realised that I do do that and not because I don't uh, how do I explain this? It's really hard. It's really hard to even know how to talk about this because I know like talking about food or anything or weight or anything, or diet can be really, really triggering to some people. And I actually did a What I Eat In A Day video um, with Gymshark a few weeks ago. And um, I got a lot of comments beneath it being like, you should have put a trigger warning before this video because you're talking about food and eating. And I was like, oh my gosh, like I never even realized that. Um, like I didn't speak about calories in the video or anything like that but I didn't realise that I, I should have put a trigger warning before it, even just talking about food in general, which I totally get. So, um, I'm sorry about that. I'd be lying if I said that more than ever at the moment, I feel the pressure so much, like, with my body and just a battle within my own mind of how I wake up every day and feel like, oh, I know I need to exercise today. I know I need to eat clean today. I've got a shoot in two weeks. And most of the time, I just don't want to. That's the complete truth. I just... I don't want to exercise and I don't want to eat clean like all the time. Don't get me wrong, sometimes I'll wake up some days and think, oh yeah, I do want to exercise today and I do want to have a salad for lunch. And then some days I wake up and think, the last thing I want to do right now is exercise and the last thing I want to do is go to prep and get a salad for lunch when actually I want macaroni cheese and then I want a bag of crisps and then I want a cookie and then I want a full fat Coke afterwards. And that is totally fine. And I'm definitely on a journey myself, us girls especially, I know guys get it too, but us girls especially, we feel so much pressure with how we're meant to look and how we're meant to eat and how we're meant to exercise. And I feel like me personally, I'm really struggling at the moment, going on Instagram all the time and seeing everyone's Apple watches and how they're smashing it and doing so amazing and burning 700 calories in a session. And don't get me wrong, I'm a culprit for doing that too sometimes. Like last week I was exercising at 6 a.m. every morning and I was posting about it. And I bet for some people waking up, it was really nauseating seeing me going to the gym at 6 a.m. when they felt like how I'm feeling at the moment, you know? Maybe we've all been at both sides of the spectrum or maybe you've just been at one side where you really want to exercise or maybe you're, you've you always been at the side that I'm at now where I don't feel like doing anything at all. Um, and both are completely fine. I'm just feeling weird at the moment with the whole thing. I think I've got a lot of pressure um with this big shoot coming up and I put a lot of pressure on myself to feel how I did for the last campaign I did in a bikini and I don't know I don't know if I'll even keep this section in because it hasn't even really made any sense whatsoever and also I always cut bits out of my video when I'm talking about anything that could be remotely controversial 
<laughs> and what I said isn't even controversial. I'm just telling you guys how I'm feeling. So I am going to keep it in. It's okay to have off weeks and off days and off years. And you know what? It's also okay to not exercise at all if you don't want to feel like it. Please don't put pressure on yourself. I was watching another girl's vlog the other day and she was talking about how she wants to start exercising to not see the changes within her body. She wants to just do it for mental reasons and to feel good mentally and to feel um, less anxiety and to uh, become stronger and to wear cute gym clothes. And she was stating all the reasons to like um, train and eat healthy to not look good physically just to feel good mentally and I think that's something that I want to start doing. I got a lot going on in my mind and I don't know how to word it. Good evening loves. I don't know where I'm up to with this little random random vlog. <sighs> my nose is running. Um, but yeah wherever we're up to. Hi <laughs> what's going on? Um, I am sat on the living room floor right now doing a little bit of scrapbooking. Wow that sounds so not like me like who even is this? But it's obviously Valentine's Day around the corner and I wanted to do Tommy a scrapbook and the most annoying thing is is that I actually, am I in focus? I had created a scrapbook for young Thomas a while back. I'd got like maybe five pages in of like really cute scrapbooking and obviously during the move um, after we moved from the apartment to this place it was all a bit hectic and all happened very quickly and I think it could have potentially got chucked away or it's in a storage unit somewhere. I don't know. I've not seen it for a long time. So I've started another one. Um, and because we're not doing presents this Valentine's, I thought it would be nice just to do something like this instead. So I'll show you where I'm up to. I've not added any writing into it yet. I have just added a few pictures, like some sticky tape and all that good stuff. I could be doing this slightly more organised and a little bit tidier. But I mean, it is scrapbooking, isn't it? So this is... I've got my toes. This is the front page. I'm not going to show you too much, but I'm going to add, like, text here. I've got a white pen, which I'll probably add text to there. These little labels I thought were really cute. Um, I'm going to add text, like, here and stuff. Um, but, yeah, <laughs> this is funny. Insta versus reality. <laughs> um, but, yeah, this is where I'm up to so far. So I need to add text, obviously add loads more pages. Um, but I'm actually finding it really therapeutic. I'm um, really, really enjoying it. And I feel like things like this on Valentine's Day are just so much nicer than um, buying like expensive gifts and stuff. I feel like you can't put a price on sentimental stuff like this. I know he'll really, really appreciate it. So that's where I'm at. I'm eating a protein cookie. Protein cookie, applied nutrition literally just found it in the cupboard, it's one of Tommy's, and I'm washing that down <laughs> with a McDonald's Coke Zero. So yeah, that's me this evening, Friday night, a wild, wild Friday night in my beautiful white company pyjamas, which, by the way, there's nothing quite like, it is a bit of a treat, I'm not gonna lie, they're not the cheapest PJs, but the white company pyjamas, they are so soft, um, I live in them. I must add, I've got my candles on, HP on the telly, this is Definitely Hallows part one, I think. Um, but yeah, just a really nice setup. My back is absolutely killing me, so I'm having to like lean against the back of the um, sofa. Shout out to the lady who works at Boots that basically I left this picture behind when I went to print out a load of photos. I literally printed out loads. Um, I did it at Boots and I, I apparently left this one behind. And then today when I went into Boots to print out more pictures because I didn't have enough, um, a lady rushed over to me and was like, oh, like, you left this one behind and I, I took it away and like put it aside because I didn't want anyone else to take it because it's like a picture from home and I didn't want anyone else to see it of you and Tommy. And I was like, oh, that is so cute. So she like kept it behind the desk for me and then I just went back coincidentally and she was there and she gave it to me, which was so sweet. So I've made sure that one goes in the scrapbook just because I thought that was so cute that she did that. So guys, a slightly different setup to when you last saw me. I do apologize. It's been the weirdest vlog I've ever, ever filmed. <laughs> but I'm actually kind of low-key. I've really enjoyed filming it as well. Um, it's been nice checking back in with you at random times. I think I was making a scrapbook the last time I spoke to you. I'm not going to be filming from this point onwards because the footage that I get from now is going into the most exciting vlog that I will ever put on my channel, Jack! Chat was pushing his head up against the window. It's going to be going into my London vlog for the catwalk show for PLT, which, by the way, is tomorrow. I'm not speaking any more about it because I'm doing a whole vlog about it. And yeah, as I said, it's probably going to be my most favourite vlog ever. Valentine's Day has been and gone now. I know I was making the scrapbook to give to Tommy, which, by the way, made him basically cry. Um, I'm so glad I did it. And I literally spent so much time on it. And he absolutely loved it. Um, but he surprised me last night and we stayed at the Corinthia. He got the hotel decorated with, like, so many balloons and uh, flowers. And he took me for dinner at my favourite restaurant. It was just 
an absolutely perfect night and this morning I was just like on cloud nine and everyone was like oh my god you've got such a spring in your step and I was like honestly just because spending time with him and seeing him after he's been away for a week was just so amazing and just made the day start so beautifully and it's just been an amazing day we've got dress rehearsals in a minute oh my god I'm not telling you anything more because um I'm not giving anything away but anyway guys if you stuck around to the end of this video then you really are a trooper because this has been the most random video ever um but i really hope you enjoyed it anyway if you want to see more vlogs like this just chilled chatty pms weeks with me then um let me know in the comments down below i think the vlog i put out next it actually might be the plt vlog the vlog i'm about to start filming which if it is you're not ready to see it. you are not ready for how incredible this vlog is going to be i'm so excited but anyway guys i'm closing out this video i love you all so much and hopefully i will see you all in my next video bye guys <laughs>